anytime we talk about chipping and pitching, we need to refer to bounce because bounce is our friend. It helps us hit really solid shots whenever we use our wedges around the green and all the way out to uh, 30, 40, 50 yards even. In the last couple of weeks, I've talked about bounce and how we use the bounce and how bounce works with wedges when we hit shots around the green. But what's even more important is that we get our wedges fit, we get the bounce of our wedges fit for our needs and our swing style. If you're a digger, you take a significant divot. And that's a lot of times folks are coming in with their hands leading ahead just like this. That leading edge digs into the ground, they take a pretty significant divot. They're also swinging much steeper down on the golf ball, which causes a deeper divot as well. You also have sliders. Sliders are those folks who are able to hit a shot, take very little divot to uh, maybe even none at all, and they actually just kind of rake right across the top of the grass. They pick the ball pretty cleanly off the top of the grass. And then obviously there's a neutral, someone that falls right in between where you take a, a somewhat shallow divot, but you still have a little bit of a displacement of the turf. It's important that you figure out which bounce is best for you. And a lot of people see a low bounce wedge or a high bounce wedge, and they're not real sure which one to pick from. Well, I'm going to show you how to pick uh, your bounce for your wedges to help you get the most out of your scoring performance around the greens. I have a lie board here. I have some lie tape on my wedge. And what I'm looking for is I want to see where that impact mark is on the sole of my wedge whenever it comes through and, and hits the golf ball. If it's towards the trailing edge back here, then it means that I have a very shallow swing and I'm more of a, a sweeper. I, I pick the golf ball off the ground. If it's towards the leading edge here, that means that I really dig. I get the handle leaning forward and I get that leading edge closer to the ground and I really dig the golf ball out of there. So depending on which one I do, I'll have to buy a wedge with appropriate amount of bounce to help me get the most out of my short game skills. So let's hit a shot here. I have two different wedges. One, this wedge particularly has eight degrees of bounce, which is very little bounce for a wedge. They'll run anywhere from four all the way up to about six or eight, which is kind of low bounce. I'm just going to hit a partial 50, about a 50 yard wedge shot here. As I look at this, I have a little bit of a mark right here, pretty much in the middle of this wedge. Now this wedge has fit very well for me bounce-wise, so my mark right in the middle tells me that this bounce on this wedge is tailor-made for my game. Now if you were to hit a shot and see that leading edge like this and see a strip in the front, then you need a wedge with higher bounce. And what higher bounce allows the club to do, it gets that leading edge up off the ground and allows the club to move through the turf a little bit more smoothly and not take quite as big of a divot. If I would have hit a shot and had it more towards a trailing edge, which means I'm more of a sweeper, then I need very little bounce because that club is coming in at such a low, shallow angle that if I had a lot of bounce on my wedge, then it's liable to hit the ground and then kick up into the golf ball. Sometimes that happens to us in the bunker when we open the face up. We have a little bit too much bounce and the club will ricochet off the, off the sand too early and kick into the ball and we send it across the green. So it's really important that we get the right amount of bounce on our wedges. This is how you do it. You come see your PGA Golf Professional, have some shots off, hit some shots off the lie board. Let's figure out where that mark is so that we can give you the best wedges with the bounce that's appropriate to meet the needs for your game.